Tonight, at Millis High School, we may see history being made as Dover Sherbourne's Luke Rinaldi is only 19 points away from the prestigious 1,000 point mark. Good evening, everyone. I'm Bruce Glazer. Sitting next to me, Brad, Kel Brad Crandall. I got it. I got it. I got it. My wife, Debbie Glazer, a statistician and key person tonight. I'll get the words out. Cam Crandall and Elsa. Sukso. I was waiting for that. <laughs> Our camera people. We are at uh, Mills High School to record, hopefully, what will be a momentous moment. And we can bring it to you from Dover Sherborne Cable TV. Starters for both teams. Um, Sean Ryan, Adam Heredia. No, Heredia's not starting. How about that? Um, Jack Catalano, their captain. 22, Sean Ryan. Adam Hart. And let's see, Charlie Lindbergh. And number five, Aiden Azuz for the visitors. Strange to say that. Spellman up front with Olsen. Ronaldi. Wendell. And Mel Melchionda. Strange seeing um, Brad, the, the um, Dover Shoban Raiders in their blue travel uniforms. Yeah, I like them. I like them too. We haven't Sharp. seen them in a while. Right. Here we go. Ronaldi has his first touch to Olsen. Melky at the left point, feeds it down low and out of bounds, it'll be white ball. That white team would be Miller stressed with white and maroon trim. The visitors, the Raiders in blue with some black and white trim. Over the M in midcourt is Catalano. Into the big guy, Hart. Drives to the basket by Lindbergh, rebound controlled by Melky Onda. Melky Onda looks up the floor, driving tightly, Lindbergh on him. Baseline, Rinaldi lays up and in. There it is, that's first Seven, two. 17 to go for Rinaldi. Lindbergh feeds inside, low post. Coming around is Azus, guided by Melky Onda. Melky Onda stays with him, he drives, over, shoots, and Wendell controls the boys. No, Melky Onda had a tip on that one. Did he? Yep. Okay. Loop for three, overshot, and rebound climbing in the air is Azus. Azus. Catalano pops, Catalano short. Rebound controlled by Wendell again. Wendell drives to midcourt. Good crowd here tonight, Brad. Yeah, it is. They may see history in the making. Low post, Olsen looking around. Trapped, gets it back. Melchionda off the glass and short. Tries to go for his own rebound. Ball's taken away by 22, and that would be Sean Ryan, the freshman. Yeah, Pop. Zeus with a good block on that one. Over shot. Wendell again has it. Melchionda drives. Reverse layup, 4 nothing visitors. Well executed there. And Mills looks cold. Catalano with the ball was cold in the opener at Dover Sherbourne. We were really surprised. He's a TVL All-Star. He's gotten better as the season went along, but you and I were talking about that, Brad. He had a cold game. Yeah, he did not look like himself. Asus overshoots again, and he bangs his hands on his head like, what am I doing? Drive by Olsen, turns around, 360, lays it short, no fouls yet in the game, and back come the Mohawks. Asus pops. They've had about five shots, and they haven't hit one yet. Four nothing Raiders, 550 to go in the first quarter. You can tell Asus is very frustrated with himself so far. Yeah. Cross court, Melchionda. To Wendell. He thinks about a three and takes a three. Boing in the air. Recog controlled by Olsen. Bunny, good. Six yeah. nothing Raiders. It looks like, I'm, it I'm looks like Shaquille O'Neal out there. If I'm Miller's head coach, Paul Adams, who's been here for years, you may want to time out. Uh -huh. Shot. Score. That would be the freshman, Sean Ryan. To Luke. Luke outside the paint to Mason Malchionda. Luke drives left wing, lays it up. And in, four points for Rinaldi. Beautiful layup there. Catalano, the senior captain, will bring it up. Adam Hart is the other captain. He has the ball now, high post. Hart driving one on two, gives it back out. Asus, no stranger to shooting. Ryan short. And the ball tips down to Charlie Lindbergh into Asus. He drives, stole it out of his hands Strip. by Wendell. What a strip there by Wendell. Bounces to Olsen, Olsen in the lane, up he goes, it's overshot. Didn't get a good ricochet off the rim. Catalano the other way, up in the air, Hart scores. Timeout. Yes, yep. there's that timeout you were talking about, Bruce. 
Yeah. You know, Millers comes in 3-10. and ten. The last couple of years have not been kind to them. But in their last game on Friday, the 27th of January, they went to midfield, and they lost by three. That wow. shows quite an improvement. Yeah, it does. I'm curious about uh, who was the point leader in that one. I don't know. I didn't get any numbers on that. Um, Raiders come in 11-3. and three. Their only losses being in Division II competition. The Raiders are now ranked number nine out of the 32 teams that can qualify for tournament in Eastern Mass. And on the other side of the ledge, the girls move from number three to number two. Hey. They are eight and four, but it's based on record, um, points, point differentials with a maximum of 10, and the competition you play. Just interesting as we go along, as we close down towards mid-February and the tournament comes up. Love to see it. Replacement. Andrew Fiala is in the game for Millis. And Spellman coming in. Spellman off the bench for Melchionda. No, Melchionda's still in there. Wendell. Uh, Wendell came out. Okay, thank you. Over the timeline. No, Wendell's still in there. Wait a minute. Are oh, there six players? <laughs> <laughs> Melchionda drives. Hands off to Brian for a short pop. Too short. Says, I'll try it again. I can try it again. Maybe no. Out of bounds. White ball. Hey, you know, Andrew Fiala is pretty tall also. And we're a little jumping battle there. Was Spellman out there all the time? Yeah, I think he, he was. He just never actually. got the ball. Yeah. I did not call his name out. Ball chipped. It's rolling. White ball still. 4.08 to go in the quarter. Three point cushion for the Raiders. One foul on the Raiders, none on the Mohawks. Ball goes nowhere. Yeah, not what you want. It would be a backcourt violation if they touched it. Well, Wendell says thanks. I'll bring it up. Right side of Melchionda. Mason to Luke. Luke fakes the three, comes baseline, brings it around. Bounces to Spellman. Under four minutes to go in the quarter. Wendell. Spellman to Luke. Luke three. Short, Olsen says, up in the air, and no good. He gets fouled, and Olsen goes to the line for a couple. Yeah, nice board there by Olsen, and nice drive to get to the line. This is one of those older gymnasiums that has several rows, not as many as Dover Sherborne, but you're very close to the action. Yeah, I feel like there's some, probably some spirits in here. And it's so old. <laughs> <laughs> not only that, but you look at the end lines, there's not much room to throw the ball in. Yeah, it's true. Spellman is out. He's being replaced by Lynch. Nine five visitors. I keep wanting to say home team, Brad, but it's not so. No. Pressure put on by the Raiders. Hart brings it up. He also plays football. Adam Hart passes off, gets it back. They brought Nick Holman in the game for Millis. Catalano will set it up. Left side to Holman. Holman against Melky Onda. Melky Onda will not let you breathe if he can help it. No, he's excellent. Bounce pass, comes back to Hart for three. In! Great bucket there by Hart. 9-8 Raiders. We are four rows behind the visitors bench. That's how close we are. Wendell goes up in the air, scores, and will go to the line. Wendell would not be stopped on that. Great execution. Yeah, we're so close to uh, Grady. It's funny, because you were like, oh, we'll try not to be too loud. And he's like, I can't hear anything when I'm coach. <laughs> yeah, that was cute. Uh, he's locked in. He should be. Right? Yeah. Tie up. It'll be... Oh, yeah, Hart just holding that. Oh, we can't see the scores table possession arrow. We're behind it. So it's white ball. Okay, that, okay the red button on the left means, <laughs> see the little button there? The light, oh. the red light, that means Raiders. On the right side, from our view, it's Mills' possession on a tie-up. That'll help a little. Steal, Luke. Luke, six points! Yes. Great slam dunk there by Luke Rinaldi. Holman gets blocked by Olsen. Holman keeps it in bounds. Out to number three. Uh, uh, Asus, I'm sorry. Asus, yeah. Asus with the ball. Popped by Holman. Off to the right. Comes down to Melchionda. They turn it the other way. 
Raiders going right to left as you look at it, of course. Outside, window, bow! Oh. <laughs> bop, oh. it was a bop, not a bang. <laughs> it looked good, but it was a little short. Looked good from this angle. Luke coming out for a breather here. 2.18 to go as Charles Fang comes into the game. Number 15. Catalano looks at Fang, bounces left. Asus trying to get around. Gavin Lynch gets fouled by a blue shirt. It'll be two sh on, what do you say, number two? Wendell, I guess, the foul. Oh, he was driving. He's going to get two shots. The foul was on three, Melchionda. Third foul on the Raiders, only two on Millis, 13-9 Raiders, 2.07 to go in the first. Yeah, Zeus doing a good job making opportunities for himself. Now he may get hot after those free throws. Yeah. Score now, 13-10 Raiders. If I had to guess, he would be a big part of the scoring during that Medway game. Medfield. Oh, I, th I was talking Medway, right? I thought you said that nope. they they lost the medway, but I, I sometimes confuse the meds. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe it was me. Um, yeah, it was, it was medfield, medfield. They lost to at Medfield, a oh. Division Two school, but they only lost by three, and that was the, the good part oh, because okay. you're playing Division Two, a decent school in Medfield that's trying to qualify yeah. for the tournament, and you only lose by three. Olsen inside. They're calling a push on Olsen, a charge. Great, he didn't like that call. No, and I can see the point because the defender did not have his two feet in full position. He wasn't totally set. And Grady lets him know calmly. Mm -hmm. it, it's a judgment call, but I think in this one, the Mr. Grady is correct. Grady going, will, yeah, Grady will always let you know. Ronan Rich is coming in for Brian Olson. Olson getting a well-deserved breather there. Catalano will bring it up. Buck 45 to go in the first. Asus, right side for Charlie Lindbergh. Back to Asus, he's going to drive. Right side, lays it short. Deflection by Lynch, I think. Yeah, great tip. Mason all the way, maybe. Shoots off the glass. Good! Mason. Circle ball. Well done, lad. 15 to 10. Catalano drives against Fang. Nothing open. In the corner, Lindbergh for sideliner. Short into the hands of Richards. Ronan Richards. Paul Adams yelling out what he wants on defense. Ball deflects to Spellman. Buck five to go in the quarter. Richards holds, gets to Spellman for three. Twitch. Nothing but net. 18-10 Raiders under a minute to go in the quarter. Spellman taking a page from his big brother's notebook. Bounce pass to Holman. Asus. I'm sorry, it's Azus. Uh, Zeus, I like that name. Yeah, I want to put the Z back in the first part. <laughs> uh, Zeus with the ball. Uh, he was, he, I don't know if he was baiting the defender, but he looked like he was talking to him yeah. and then lost his footing. Not good. Uh, Zeus having a tough start. Timeout called. All right, in the last game the Raiders played, um, Rinaldi had against Dover Sherbourne. I'm oh, sorry, Dover Sherbourne at Holliston. Dover Sherbourne won 62-41. Rinaldi had 18, Spellman had 12, Olsen had 11, and Wendell had 10. So they had four guys in double figures. Mm. Coming into this, um, they're 11 and three, and eight and three in the TVL overall. No, wait a minute, hold on. That doesn't make any sense. They're out, this, the stat is wrong. They're 11 and three overall, they're eight and oh in the TVL small. The only defeats they've had are to Division II teams. Huh. And, the, and they lost to TVL large teams, so that makes them 8-0 oh in the TVL small. But if you're looking at the whole league, large and small, yeah, okay, they're 8-3. Fine. Fine. Give it to them. Give it to them, yeah. So, we played a quarter. There was no time up, Brent? Um, no, what, what have we got? Yeah. 38 seconds to go. There was a timeout. There was a timeout, and the clock was counting down. I wasn't paying attention to the clock. T clock back to 38.7 seconds. Rinaldi back in the game. The Rinaldi watcher here today. Half a minute to go. You know, Bruce, I'm very excited about this. I, in my uh, 
career. career. Yeah, I have not seen a thousand point score. You mentioned you did. I did. I saw Sue Patchett from Mansfield High School many years ago, and she was a tall, lean center for them, and she got a thousand points. You said they stopped the game after that? I believe so, yeah. Shot by Fang is short. Four seconds to go. Win. That would be, that would be Glick who snuck in yeah. the game. Quarter over. Raiders lead by a small, a small margin, 20 to 10. You know, Glick is good at sneaking in the game and getting those points. You know? He's getting his playing time and yeah. maybe towards starting next year, possibly. I would I would hope so, you yeah. know. He's been proving himself. But getting back to that, remember, the Sue Patrick game, as I remember, was in Mansfield. It was a home game. So they stopped, and there was a presentation made, as I remember. You're on the road. But I imagine if he gets it tonight, they'll stop. It's yeah. only courtesy to do that. You're all excited, huh? I am excited, honestly. Couldn't happen to a better kid, too. No, he's worked his butt off for this. Yeah. Came into this uh, this league with a splash, too. Just freshman, just was the guy who could always get points, you know, him and the Lou. only negative, it's not really a I negative, mean, is that Nick can't be here. Yeah, yeah, him and Nick is what I meant. Nick's yeah, in college. Right. And that comes first. Mm -hmm. I forget, it was like, who is this tall freshman that could score, you know? Yeah. Look at him now. He's a taller senior. Glick stays out there for the Raiders. Luke, Richards, Gavin Lynch, and young Mr. Spellman. Lynch back to Spellman. He sets it up, going over the Mohawk at midcourt. Richards holds into Luke, and yep, mm. moved his pivot foot. Busted. Uh, Adrian Heredia is in the game for Millis. I think he started in the opener. Now he's coming in the backcourt for them as the second quarter starts. He's got the sweatband on. Oh, yeah. And he's going to take his first shot? No. Azus back to C Catalano. Hart, way off to the right. Oh my oh. gosh, what an angle by Hart. I like the way this kid plays. <laughs> 7.30 to go in the half. 13 to 20, Millis trailing. Luke double team, now they get off him on a 2-3 zone. Outside, Glick is short. Off the orange and down to Azus. He's doing a lot. Catalano drives, looks left. Pops into the corner, Hart from a sideliner. Got the three. Wow. They're Hart. back in it. 20 to 16. They're showing some heart. And now this pause <laughs> for laughter. That was good. Thank that was quick. Oh. Off Luke and his mouth opens up. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's your joke for the evening, right? Yes. Yeah. We're, we're done? We'll see. <laughs> Glick out, Richards out, Wendell back in, and Olsen back in for the Raiders. Catalano looks more like a setup guy, doesn't he? Yeah, he, he's like playing Rondo. Or Mm. Sean Ryan, stolen away by Olsen, waits for the ball, drives, feeds it off to nobody, got a tie up on the floor, and Hart, more like a rugby stone. Olsen, Olsen not only traveled, but he went out of bounds with the ball, so either way, it's white ball. It was great effort for both guys, Hart it was. and Olsen. See, that's when you could have said it then, too, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Catalano pops a bunny short off the orange. Back down to Luke. Rinaldi coming left with six points in the game. Ball pops in the air. Hot reaches over everybody and has it. Catalano will bring it up. Catalano's the guy who's going to settle this team down and try and get him back in this game. Yeah. Feet to Azus. You stepped out, young man, and goes the other way. Now Fionda coming in for the Raiders. Lynch coming out. Azus being his own worst enemy right now. Timeout blue. The kid's playing a tough game though. I give the Mills crowd a lot of thumbs up because this is a three and 10 team. There's a lot of people here from Mills High School. And as we expected, Dover Sherwood supporting their team on the road. Yep. It's true. It's not every day you get a thousand points scoring. No, no, it's quite a feat. I looked at the uh, Mills thousand point club and their last um, two 
1,000 point scorers. Can you read that better than me? Looks like 2008, 2006. I know, right? Amy Assad and Katie Golden. I think. Yeah. Is that I a 16? Yeah, the flag is folded, so you can't yeah. really tell. Maybe it is 2016. Katie Golden had 1,000. 1119 points. Yeah, I think you're right. The flag is creased. It was 2016. Mm -hmm. Makes it tough. You're one row down. You got the great angle, <laughs> right? <laughs> Backward play. Press put on by Hart. If anyone with any pull from Mellis, uh, go fix that flag. Just give a little pull. Yes, yeah, get a ladder out. That's all. <laughs> Spellman, left wing. Melchionda. To Spellman. Feed down low to Luke. Luke for Brian Olsen at the foul line. Up in the air and no good. Catalano racing up the floors. Eyes penetrating the defenders. Out comes to the right to Ryan. Long one by Hart. Wow. Look what Olsen did. Hart gets it back. Same shot clock and the turnover. Window will set it up. These guys are feisty on both sides, yeah, aren't they? they? Are. It's looking like some playground ball. Melchionda in a hurry. Moved his feet too soon. Travel. Want to thank Derek Finney for his, at the Athletic for Millis for his helping us with this arrangement and set up on the same day when we found out Luke was going for the thousand. Shout out too to Jono's dad Swish. for Next. filling in for me. Yes, Sean Ryan with the three, correct sir. 20 to 19, Millis. Spellman over to Wendell to Mason Malkionda. Luke with the big hands, pops and scores. How did he reach out and grab that? I don't know, but he's got eight out of the 19 he needs for the 1,000. Six in the first and two so far in the second. Nice save by Catalano, he shoots. It screams off the rim, out of bounds, blue ball. I just don't get it, like Catalano. I don't get it either. Hitting. I remember him as a junior, he was a hot scorer. Yeah, he was like, Best, one of the best ones on the floor. Spirit of St. Louis comes back in the game, Charlie Lindbergh. Spirit of St. Louis, Charles Lindbergh. I already explained oh, 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 that to you, oh, right? Oh, oh, oh. Just want to refresh your memory. Luke <laughs> down low. Luke, reverse layup, got it! Jeez, it's so fancy. 10 for Luke. Azus looks right to Lindbergh. Looks right again, feeds it back to him. Stolen away. Catalano's come out of the game. Spellman. Luke for three. Rebound to Lindbergh. Lindbergh over midcourt. Left side pass to Hart. One on one. He fakes, shoots, gets followed by Luke. Yeah, good job by him uh, drawing the foul there. No question. He saw Luke in the air and he saw his opportunity. That is the first on Rinaldi, the fifth on the team, only four on Millis. Catalano sits a return. Yeah, and he took a seat right in front of the scoreboard. I mean, the scoring table. Catalano in for Azus. 421 to go in the half. Five point lead for the Raiders. That was a quick breather for him, huh? Come and take one sip of Gatorade and go back out. <laughs> Makes one out of two. 24-20 Raiders. Raiders need every win to move up in position in Division Three for the, towards the tournament. Malky on the right side. Feeds out to Olsen. Low post, knocked away from Luke. Spellman pulls it in. Olsen drives out to Malky on the sets. He shoots in and out. Rebound, ooh, could have been a foul on Olsen, but they yeah. didn't call it. Jack Catalano, Heredia stops, shoots. Clang, clang, and out. Rebound, nice play, Ryan, up and in. Yeah, that was impressive, good board there. Spellman says, up and here we go, deep. No success. Hart gets that rebound. Who was that, Lindbergh? Ah, uh, yeah, that was Lindbergh. The three, wow. Mr. St. Louis. They just went out in front. 25-24. Wow. Quick run there from Mellis. I got a question for you. We cannot live stream because the, you know, the National Federation of High Schools has the live stream rights here in Millis. And I see a lady up there. I assume she's recording the game for somebody. Do you see any other announcers? I don't. 
I thought they no. fielded announcers as well. Maybe that guy right under them, but I'm not sure. Oh, the guy with the glasses? Who knows? I don't see him with like a microphone. No, he'd have to scream a lot, wouldn't he? Yeah. <laughs> if he's using the, the mic's camera, he, yeah. the camera's mic, he's in trouble. The camera does look like it's pointed directly at us. So he's it, got, a, and that's a shotgun mic they got on there. But I don't see him really doing the game. I don't get it. Me I mean, neither, Bruce. I mean, you can subscribe all you want, but if you don't have any announcers, it's like half the action is gone. Yeah, it's true. Catalano's definitely their quarterback for Millis. Bringing the ball up is Spellman. They look like they're in a 1 2 2 zone now. Shot by Spellman. Too deep. As I noticed that Keesley is coming to the game. Oh. The Raiders. Nice takeaway. Keesley in trouble. Hands off to Luke. Sideliner. Got it! Oh, nothing but that. 12 points there for Luke. Got seven to go. And let's talk about Keesling on that one, huh? What an effort to yeah, get that ball yeah. back. He's gotten better. He's got much more confidence using his big body. Yeah, he's a big boy. Catalano, nice feed, reverse layup. Lindbergh! Lindbergh, wow. He's got some skills. Oh, Keesling says, I know what I did. Mm -hmm. I moved my feet. Yeah. Yeah, can't be doing that. Jack Catalano listens to his coach yell out what he wants. The screen, Catalano maintains. He's off to Holman who's come back in to Lindbergh. Holman way up in the air. It's yeah, hot it's the backboard. Yeah, you don't see that all the time. And look at Limber coming back, stealing the ball from Keesling. He's had his Gatorade, hasn't he? Nice yeah, feet outside. Good. Catalano shoots. In and out. Good shot, though. Ball had a lot of spin. Window brings it up slowly in front of us. Started by Holman. Melchionda. Outside to Spellman for a long one. Bang! Yeah, wow. He was barely set, too, and just... Let off a perfect shot. 29-27 Raiders, just under two to go. Home and shoot short. I think, uh, yeah, I think uh, Rinaldi might have had a tip on it. Melky Onda outside to Spellman. Chipped in the air, fought in the air. Keesling with it. Keesling down low to Melky Onda. He drives, does a spin around, short off the glass. And as Zeus with the, bu the ball over midcourt, quickly against Rinaldi. Sets it up for Hart. Back out to Charlie Lindbergh. Holman comes in, Holman shoots, Holman scores. Oh, Holman. We're tied at 29, but 21 to go in the half. Kiesling. Back pretty exciting. Yeah, more than I expected. Luke. Nope, off the orange. Yeah, he almost got his own rebound. Outside, Holman will shoot no matter what. Nope, bounces it outside. Deflects off Lindbergh. And Millis ball. What should it go off? Um, why is it Mills ball? What do I miss? I don't know. I, don't I thought know the Mills player kicked it out. <laughs> I know, right? I don't get it. Holman out, and um, I said that. Who'd they bring in? Doesn't matter. Shot. Oh, come Jeez. on, Catalano. You're a senior. You got to make those. What's going on with him? Walked. Travel call. They got to settle down a little. Yeah, they're worked up here, Bruce. Tie game, 29-29. Under a minute to go in this first half. Catalano bounces right to Lindbergh. No give and go there. Hart, Catalano, Lindbergh. Jeez, this Whoa, guy, this guy they has... got their biggest lead, 32-29. Yeah. Rick Grady's gonna have a conversation at halftime. But Lindbergh's been hot. Yeah, he is. He's a key factor in this Millis Mohawks team. 20 seconds to go. They're holding for one. Luke comes left. Window right. 
Back out to Loop, 10 seconds. Looks like his shot settles him down. He's going against Azuz. Foul line, outside of Wendell. Wendell has the last shot. Up in the air, rebound. Ronaldo! Oh, great effort there. His 14 point. We'll give you the totals for uh, Dover Sherman for each player. And we'll be before we start the third quarter, but the score at halftime is Dover Sherborne 31 and Millis 32. This is Dover Sherborne Cable TV Sports. Hi, my name is J.B. Harvey. I'm 14 years old, and I have Duchenne muscular dystrophy. My name is Ryan Hastings. I'm 20 years old, and I have Duchenne muscular dystrophy. My name's Keelan, and I'm 14, and I have Duchenne. My name is Joey. I'm 21, and I have Duchenne. My name is Devin. I'm 13, and I have Duchenne. Quality of life is everything. We have no control over the quantity of years, but uh, with the help of JB's Keys, we're able to, you know, maximize the quality. And, and that gives us freedom that we really didn't expect to have. Yeah, with JB Keys, we've been able to relax and have fun. And um, something as simple as that, we don't take for granted. We, we enjoy doing things just like everybody else. And, the fact that we get to go skiing and sailing and, and other things that we've been able to do, it's, it's, words can't even tell us, tell you how thankful we are for that. I feel so blessed and I feel so grateful when our, when he has, when my son has this opportunity for him to be able to fly down the mountain in New Hampshire is, I cry. Like I literally, I see him coming down with his coach and the whole team around him and I tear up because for him to have this experience is, is precious. And, and quite frankly, when we got the diagnosis, I never thought that as a family, we were going to be able to do these kinds of activities. The laughter is the best. Um, you'll hear them laughing coming down the mountain, you're home laughing on the sailboat. Those smiles are just like, that's why we do it. The weekends at Loon are super fun because they let me like get out of my house for like a weekend and do something fun. Then just like forget about my condition for a weekend and just have fun. I look forward to them like months ahead because they're just the best trip like ever. Not being able to do activities for the last couple of years really cemented how important those activities are. It's necessary, uh, especially the day-to-day -day can get so frustrating. Besides having Duchenne and having physical limitations, there are so many neuropsych uh, issues with a lot of kids with Duchenne. Keelan has severe ADHD, Tourette's, um, dyslexia, and some, some cognitive delays. And the day-to-day -day can get so frustrating. And when we go away as a family, doing something that can be adapted for Keelan that the rest of us can enjoy together as well, always works out so much better than when we, we try to go it alone. I think it's important to make friends like with the same situation going on and try to have fun with them because it makes you feel like you're not alone. It's, it's not only outdoor activity, it's kind of a therapy weekend, getting together with all the families and the kids all go in the pool and um, it makes us feel less alone. Um, in our challenges and, and it makes Keelan feel less alone to see kids just like him. I've been skiing with JB Keys for five years. My favorite part about skiing is like when the wind goes in your face. JB Keys is great. I found out that they had a scholarship program for college and I decided to apply to take advantage of it. I was able to successfully get the scholarship and was able to use the money for my college education. One thing that's unique with Duchenne is there are 
a lot of hidden taxes for families, you know, things that are, are much harder to do or, or not, not easily accessible or, or just, in, just cost more money or take more effort. I mean, traveling is, is, is a troop movement. And so um, being able to um, get the, the scholarship that William got helped soften the blow of the different, different, different costs involved with going to school. Those things add up. Another important thing that GB's Keys does is helps provide money to the DMD clinic at the UMass Medical Center in Worcester. The Duchenne program at UMass Medical is the gold standard for care for these boys. And the primary neurologist that sees these boys is Dr. Brenda Wong. Brenda is the best human you could ever meet. And she ensures that every single provider is coordinated and that they all know exactly what is going on with the other providers. So instead of potentially having to go see a pulmonologist or a cardiologist, an endocrinologist, she ensures that all of that care is coordinated and that at the end of the visit, it's very clear, you know, if there are any changes with meds or there's any new protocol for stretching or whatever needs to be done to optimize that particular boy's care, she has it all in hand and makes sure that everybody knows what to do. Dr. Wong kind of knows like, she, she has like specific stuff she knows about each person. And I, I don't really know how she remembers. JB's Keys is a critical funder of the UMass Medical Clinic and having that support and ensuring that the funds continue to come in so the team has the best possible service providers is critically important. It's a big family we're in here. We have a, the Duchenne's family. We're all in it together, and we're just trying, trying to do the best we can for our boys. That's what we're all doing. And uh, please help us out. First of all, I'd say thank you because um, it's very emotional to see people give out of the goodness of their heart. That means the world to me because that kind of support, I don't see it every day. I, I, you know, I do see it at the JB Keys events and that means the world to me. I had the pleasure with my family and several colleagues and friends to attend JB's Keys last Tackling Duchenne uh, fundraiser event a few years ago, I believe it was three years ago. And since that time, we have lost members of this Duchenne community, including a very dear friend named Michael. Um, it's, it's completely devastating for us to lose members of this community, and it's critically and vitally important that we continue to raise money, raise awareness, ensure that local clinics like the UMass Medical Team have the funds that they have to do the work that they need to do. I think in life, so many want to give to charities, and many charities are large, you're not really sure where your dollars are actually going to benefit people on the other side or benefit individuals. And I think what is so special and unique about JB's Keys is that every dollar we raise tonight is going to impact a family directly, whether it be through improving their care at UMass Medical, allowing this boy to do an activity that he would never be able to do otherwise, and to give the entire family the ability to have a better quality of life is priceless. Bruce Glazer, Debbie Glazer here with Brad Crandall, Cam Crandall, and Elsa Sukso. And the scoring at halftime, real quickly. Ronaldi led with 14 as the teams change baskets. Hart about to shoot, but he can't. Gives off to Catalano, feed inside to Azus, turns around, banks it up and out. Malkion took the rebound. So Ronaldi at 14, that's the real important points now. Luke comes back out with it. Window shoots a three, in and out. Back to Melchionda. Spellman for three, no. And bringing the ball down is that freshman, Sean Ryan. Lindbergh drives, misses. He took that for granted, didn't he, Brad? Yeah, he did. I he think said, Spellman was right there. Coming the other, up. Sorry? Oh, Spellman messed him up on that one. Window to Luke. Luke shoots, in and out. Ball down to Catalano. Catalano goes all the way, shoots and misses. 
Melchionda with the boards. Spellman at six in the first half. Olsen with three. Four for Melchionda and two for Wendell. Olsen up. Short. And Gets his own rebound. Oh. Glick with, a th with four. Glick with two. Sorry about Glick. Two. He had two points in the first half. Out of bounds play for the Raiders. Glick's getting his recognition for his two points. Got to start somewhere, right? Yeah. Into Melchionda. Luke at the foul line. Luke comes in, fakes it, shoots it. Ah, oh, it's off balance. Short yeah. rebound. That of Sean Ryan, the big kid, 22. He's going to be good. Mm -hmm. All the way down. Hart can't shoot from there. He's guided by Wendell. Back out, they work it around the perimeter. Catalano comes back to the top of the forecourt and sets it up again. Moves his people left and right. Wendell is setting up for a shot, I guess. Outside, here comes Hart. Hart off the rim. Lindbergh short. Now, Diaz has to get back in this game because they're still not really back in it yet. Yeah, Lindbergh missing two easy ones in a row. And Lindbergh comes out of nowhere to knock the ball out of bounds. Someone check his blood pressure. I know. He's coming out, and um, Holman's coming back in. I don't know if he was happy or mad. <laughs> <laughs> Spellman outside. Catalano eating him up. To Melchionda, they're playing tight D. Yeah, they Melchionda are. Melchionda banks it. Foul, could go to the line and shoot a couple. You no, know Bruce, this looks like a uh, more reformed Millis team than we saw. Oh my gosh, yeah, first. they're much more aggressive. Yeah. They're not as laid back. They know that Dover Sherbourne's a good team and they want to play a good team and beat them. I can't blame them for that. Yeah, and they're doing good. Melchionda's first is out. Second shot coming. Mason ties it up. 32 each. Hart says, how about somebody help me out here? <laughs> Gets it back. Feeds to Catalano. Drives down the center of the court. Hooks a pass. Whoa, Ryan, you lost the ball. Out yeah, of bounds. I, you know, I think Olsen might have got a tip on it that kind of redirected the ball. Timeout white. You know, good strategic timeout. Paul Adams, an experienced coach like Rick Grady. He knows when to call a timeout. Yeah, he does. In the first quarter, DS led 20 to 10. In the second quarter, um, Miller scored 22. DS only had 11. Wow. And the score at halftime was 32-31 Millis. Ronaldi has 14 as he had at the end of the half. Needs five for the 1,000 mark. And they're playing Gloria. It's a good tune. I love it? that song. Nothing wrong with disco no matter how old you are. No. That was the St. Louis Blues theme song to their championship against oh, the Bruins. Gosh, you're right. You remember that? Oh, man. Don't <laughs> yeah. remind you're me. You're trying to forget, aren't you? This season not going so well. That's why it was off my playlist for so long. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, you know, there's the 1,000 uh, balloons. Oh, is that what it is? I see yeah. three zeros. I'm looking for the one. <laughs> well, they're ready, I guess, if they got the one over there. I think Ben Schroeder has that one. They just got to coordinate. Here comes Wendell. Wendell comes left for Luke. Luke at the foul line, loses his dribble, gets it back. I'm sure he's a little nervous at this point, and the team looks a little nervous too. Yeah. They don't look totally settled down. Like to get it out of the way and just play a basketball game. He loses the ball. That's very unlike Luke Rinaldi. Yeah. He'll get it. Just don't rush it. Hart. He's Un got the three. Yeah. Uncontested. Just a great shot there by Hart. And great pass there by Jack. Now the crowd comes out. Olsen waits, shoots, misses. Olsen again. And he is smothered by Hart. Actually, Hart did a little bit of a flip to get out of the way and not knock Olsen down, but he fouled him. Mm -hmm. Still Se too much. Second on Hart, second on the team this half. Brute Jr. Brian Olsen at the line to shoot two. By the way, I spoke to the AD. They don't have any announcers for this game. 
they have an option of using announcers with the NFHS uh, feed live stream. They don't have announcers because of this. This setup here doesn't allow for it. Oh wow! They have to make many cable adjustments to do it, and he said just can't do it. So they have it going live, but there's nothing but crowd sound. Ah, uh, they should have should have just allowed us to do it. Right? We wouldn't charge him much. Azus in the paint. Azus loses his dribble, but maintains and he shoots, and he thought he had it. Bangs his head instead of go for the rebound, and yeah. back to Spellman for three. Boom! Great shot. 37-35, Spellman puts him in the lead. Lindbergh throws it up in the air. It comes to Ryan. Oh my gosh. Yeah, answering a, right back. 38-37, <laughs> Millis. I haven't seen them play this well in a couple of years easily. You know, you gotta think that they, they gained a lot from that Medfield game. Yeah. Confidence and momentum. They look good. Fang for Spellman. Spellman again. Bang! Oh, Spellman heating up. 38-40, two-point lead for the Raiders. McGrady yelling out to his team on defense. Ryan over to Charlie Lindbergh. Catalano outside, here comes Ryan. Another one! We got four in a row, two for each team. This is crazy right here. 41-40 as we go up and down the floor. Sean Ryan and uh, Spellman just putting on a three-point clinic. Ronaldo Spellman! Boom! Oh, uh, three in a row. He is on fire, folks. Wow! That's ridiculous. Let's see if uh give it to Ryan again. Looking at Ryan. Looking at Ryan. Ryan's got it. Outside. Catalano thought about it. Catalano forces it across court to Azus in the paint. He's, it's deflected and foul. No, going the other way. We have a foul. In the, it might have been three seconds. I don't know. No, they said travel. Did, oh, did he really? Yeah. Okay. Rinaldi's out for a breather. Wow. Olsen all the way. Scores. Yeah, just a hard-nosed basket there by Olsen. We see him do that yeah. a lot. Yeah. Lindbergh's open. Lindbergh overshoots. Right into the hands of Luke Spellman. All the way, and Spellman gets fouled. He'll go to the line and shoot a couple more. Yeah, Fiala on the foul. Hart coming in for a Zeus. Spellman, only a sophomore, huh? Okay. Azus can't come off until the first shot is attempted, I guess. It's kind of silly that they have to wait till the first shot's tried. Right. Why can't he come in now? I've always wondered that. Uh. It's because it's a rule, that's why. <laughs> now is he coming out? Yeah, now Azus. That's just the way they do it. I guess it keeps it consistent. Mm -hmm. Also, I didn't know Andrew Fiala was in, but now he's out. And <laughs> Azul, Azus is back in. So he came out, went back. I don't know. Yeah, I don't one know. sip of Gatorade. That's yeah, he up. swapped for himself, it looked like. <laughs> Six point lead for the Raiders, 253 to go in the third. Catalano, why did he drive? I don't know. You know, it was a mismatch, I think, against Fang. I know Fang is great on defense. Oh, yeah. You know, Catalano's got that height. Catalano dribbling. Looks down low, ball deflected. It's blue ball. Time out. Paul Adams shrugging his head. Got to talk to his team. Can you blame him? No. You know? no. This is to Catalano. You got to make that pass. DS in this quarter has outscored um, Miller so far by a count of 16 to 9. Yeah, I think Luke is still at 14 points. By the way, um, I got something I want. I'll do it at the end of the quarter. Uh, I got a quote I want to read to you from this day in history. I won't make a guess, I promise. Something to do with St. Louis. No! <laughs> Not everything St. Louis, you know. Debbie's already, told, Debbie's already told me we can't move there. I don't get it. It wasn't a <laughs> murder capital of the world, Missouri. Missouri, I think. I'm sorry, did you say something? <laughs> I think a lot of it has to do with East St. Louis. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. I don't want to talk about it. 
I don't know. I think I think it keeps switching around. By the way, oh, yeah, you know, know, it goes from one yeah, city to another. Know, right? Unfortunately, yeah. Ronaldo still on the bench. Talking to the coaching staff. That's for sure. Out of bounds play for Melchionda. Two thirty-five to go in the quarter. Fang, cross court to Spellman. Spellman for three. Another one! Oh my gosh, four That's in a row? In the same quarter. This is crazy. Look out, Lindbergh wants to match, maybe. Nope, outside to Catalano. They wait. High post, Azus walked. I swear, it's like uh, That's the, just... the Spellman brothers must just hang out and just shoot threes all day. <laughs> But Azus has to get his travel down. He's traveled three or four times already. Yeah. But you're right about the Spellmans. They oh, must really? play off each other. I'm going to see their mom shoot. And, and the, the younger sister. They probably got it too. She's draining threes. Luke's back in the game. Fang up in the air short. Oh. That was makeable too. Catalano the other way. 152 to go. Here comes Hart. Skimmer. Way out in the... To the right side of Zeus. Holman overshoots off the head of Keesling. Out of bounds. It'll be yeah, white ball. Bonked him right off the head. Luke says, you okay? <laughs> and he goes, what? <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? He's a football player. Yeah. It doesn't hurt. No, hard, hard head. Nice Here steal by Luke. Here we go. No, oh. and he got fouled, and Luke bangs the wall because it could have been a three-point play. Uh -huh. Instead, he goes to the line to shoot two. This pressure on him, you know, you and I can say there's so many games to go. He's going to get it. Yeah, he's, he got, will. he's only five away, but he's putting the pressure on himself, and the team feels the pressure, and it's natural. Yeah, everyone wants him to do it tonight. And there's not much you can say either, Brad. No. Nope. Place quiet except for one goofball. <laughs> It's always that one goofball. Huh? There is a goofball. Heredia is coming in, and Catalano is getting a breather at the end of the quarter. 134 to go. He's got one more coming. He needs four to hit a thousand. Luke Rinaldi tips it. Fang scores it. Hey. That works. 53-41 Raiders. Holman. Fanga is always good for some points. Sophomore comes right. He is off to Heredia. You, you walk, young man. Yeah. You took a stutter step. <laughs> Catalano in, and Lindbergh comes out. Lindbergh's had a great game. Yeah, he has. He's a great player. We'll see him again next year. He'll be a senior. Spellman goes around a pick. Spellman driving. Spellman outside to Fang for three. In and out. Azuz on a breakaway. Fang gets back. Keesley gets back. back. Yeah. They were both rushing down the floor. Hard for three. Off to the left. Fang gets the boards. Red faced. He pulls the ball down yeah. to Spellman. Right side to Luke. Luke four points away from the magic number. Spellman three. Nope. Not this time. Foul on Fang. I, uh, let's see who's. Uh, one five. 15 foul on Fang. His first. Uh, fourth, first on the team. 2-1-2, two, 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 Adam yelling on his defense. Talking about it, um, offense, I guess. Not defense, offense. He wants to set up a box offense. Yep, that's what it looks like. Hello. Steal by Luke. Got it! Uh, Down to two. Yeah. All right. Yep, 17. Catalano, bunny out. Luke with the ball, 26 seconds. Try to get it here, maybe. Melchionda sets it up to Luke. Oh, just that let him drive for a layup. I know, right? Yeah, they're going to hold for one. He's way out. This is crazy. He puts everybody he wants. Seven seconds to go in the quarter. Luke shoots. Up in the air. Rebound, Catalano, and he'll hold it. Keesley, it'll count. Nope. At the end of three. The Raiders lead 55-41.
17 points here for Luke. Millis Alex went seven. cold in the last couple of minutes. They had nine points in the quarter. The Raiders had 14. No, I apologize. I apologize. That, they had 24 in the quarter. 24 to nine in the third quarter. Raiders take the advantage. And the score at the end of three is 55-41 Raiders. And Luke needs two free throws or one basket yeah. to make the 1,000. He's this coming next crazy. quarter without doubt. Yeah. I assume they will stop the game. Spellman has 14, Debbie says, at the end of three quarters. Thank you, wow. And he's, he's got four threes and a two. Hmm? Not 14? Oh, I see, I didn't add him up, I'm sorry. Actually, the clubhouse leader right now is Spellman with 20. Going Spellman live. has 20, including four threes that we know of. Yeah, Luke just needs one bucket here, two points to get to that 1,000 mark. It's historical. Now we're live, Bruce. <laughs> oh, you, <laughs> yeah, you got your phone out, silly. Yeah. <laughs> that only counts for you. <laughs> Rinaldi oh, outside for Spellman. And nope. Rebound controlled by Fang to Spellman. Spellman feet to Olsen, lays it up, in. Great bucket there. 7.42 to go, 57.41 Raiders, nice cushion. Catalano sets it up, guarded by Spellman. Stolen away by Fang with Luke. Fang gets fouled. Ah. Everyone thought it was gonna happen there. I'm not sure, yeah, Fang had to look at his face, I didn't see you. Uh, Fang was driving to the, driving to the basket and Luke says, I was on your left and Fang smiles. Oh, I didn't see you, didn't know. It happens. Uh-huh. Fang at the line, a little embarrassed, but nothing, nothing, <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing lost there. Yeah. It would have been nice to be that assist though, you know? I One. insist it is 1,000th. Yeah, very true. Second one made, no! Olsen the boards, Olsen nothing. Olsen says, again! Foul, Olsen goes to the line. He <laughs> goes, oh, what the heck, I gotta shoot the line now. Like, just pass it to Luke already. <laughs> Olsen at the line will shoot two, <laughs> valid point. Next foul by Millis will put DS in the one and one. DS only has one team foul in this half. One for Brian. Nice bucket. Lindbergh in for Heredia. Olsen again, 59-41. Catalano for three, in! All right, there we go. That might have been his first bucket. <laughs> 59-44, 707 like the jet airliner. To go in the game. Drive by Olsen! Oh, oh my, my gosh, a God, spinner! Are you kidding me? And the crowd was ready to stand up. That ball just said no thank you, did a 360 spin on its own. Heart. The suspense Holman. is just killing everybody here. Azus in the lane. Still got the ball somehow. Lindbergh up in the air it comes. Hart the rebound. He loses the ball. Foul on the floor. Yeah, look, they're ready to go with their balloons. They got them organized. I see yeah, the one yeah. now. Okay. Yep, Schroeder with that one. I've seen people do it, and they have the, the numbers facing themselves, so the audience has it backwards. You know what I'm talking about? They, uh -huh. it's, they do it so they can read it and the audience sees the whole thing backwards. Oh but yeah. This one looks good though. Azus, oh, off the glass and in. Okay, let's see here. They're gonna press. Just pass the ball to Luke. Gee, Mills is not gonna make this easy. Ball almost killed Hart on the try. Wendell tried to save it and he almost knocked Hart <laughs> in the outer space. It'll be white ball. Hart will put it in play. 
They move around, Lindbergh has it outside, guarded by Wendell. 6.25 to go in the fourth quarter. Azus, Azus drives, one on two, throws it up, short. Out of bounds, blue, white ball. 6.17 to go. Tuned in late, Rinaldi has 17 points in the game, needs 19 to make a 1,000. That's all you need to know. Holman lays the bunny in. Your camera's gonna run out of, gonna run out of battery. I know, right? Right side to Olsen. Olsen waits, shoots, set, overshoots. Catalano, bumped by Olsen. Whoa, down goes Jack. <laughs> Catalano is funny. He said he slid to the floor and gets up and goes safe. <laughs> He's got a sense of humor, this guy. Luke looks tired. It's physical and mental tiredness. He'll get it. I know. Charlie Lindbergh, bounce pass to Catalano, loses it out of bounds. Blue ball. Here we go again. Uh, here we go. We have 42 viewers right now, watching live. On Hopefully, Luke can get this thousand point. They're watching off your feed? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Catalano, outside home, and oh! oh my Rinaldi of the stuff! Okay. The ball is in the next village, but the, they'll <laughs> get another ball, I think. Out of bounds play for White. Catalano put it in play. Way across court to Homan. Homan sets it up to Hart. Catalano. Catalano waits outside in the right wing, feed to nobody. Still white ball deflected off a blue shirt. So you're on Instagram? Yeah, this is, I'm live on Instagram. Well, we should do this from now on. They don't need me. <laughs> nice bucket by Azus. I think they hear you in the background. I, I'm going to yell louder. There you go. Mel <laughs> no, don't do that. Melky Hunt out of window. That's okay. Come on. Spellman, another three. Cut! Jeez, this guy can shoot. This guy is money in the bank, huh? Yeah, he is. 23, I think, for um, yep, for Spellman. He'll just get better. Lindbergh brings it in, 12 point lead for the Raiders, five minutes to go on the fourth. Holman, outside, Catalano, in and out. Right, now it go. Now Pass be, it to Luke. Now it'd be nice. Wendell, outside to Luke, takes a three. Ah. Rimmer. I think it needs to be a layup. Catalano, right side to Lindbergh, flying in short. Off the glass. There you go. They're not gonna call final. Let's Catalano, go slow him down. Up in the air, no good. And going to the line is Rinaldi for two. Oh my goodness. This could be it, folks, if he can hit both of these. Let's go. Ah. I think he should just like purposely throw it up to himself and go for the dunk here. Oh my goodness, pass it to Luke. Oh. The suspense is killing me, Bruce. <laughs> Lindbergh. Back to Catalano. Hart drives the paint. Stops, fades away, out. Window set. Okay. Les Spellman with the ball. Luke yeah, to his totally. right. Wendell to his left. Right side for Lynch. Lynch around a pick. Hands off to Spellman. Outside, Olsen. Spellman holds the ball low. Fakes, goes in. How did he do that? Rebound, good. That's Wendell. All right. Four minutes to go in the game, 14 point, point lead, otherwise known as two touchdowns. Lindbergh hooks it out deep. Azuz, the rookie, Ryan, rebound Olsen. 3.47 to go. Luke fakes and he walked. What? You know, I gotta say, but timeout Raiders, oh my I will say, Millis is, is basically cheering against 
Luke Rinaldi, and that's not sportsmanship. It's most, it's the kids, yeah, yeah. it's the students. Uh, but they gotta learn sportsmanship is more important than a game sometimes, yeah. and this guy will get his two points. But you know, don't cheer when he misses. That's true. Uh, it's a warm arena here. It's I very know. warm, it and everybody's kind of worn down. The game is pretty much at hand, 14 point lead for the Raiders. And they just want two more for Rinaldi, so we don't have to go to Dedham. Yeah, and then I can stop uh, streaming live. I think there's more pressure on you than Rinaldi. I know. <laughs> How's your battery? Um, I don't think I'm going to run out of battery, but who knows? Okay. If only Fang passed that one, you know? <laughs> Rick Grady is calm as he's ever looked. Non, non plussed. Here comes Catalano. Last time we're going to see the senior. Whoa! Maintain that pivot foot. On who? A Zeus? He's mad. That could be a check. Whoa, he's lucky. A Zeus, I agree with him. I think he called it late on Catalano, but Zeus had the ball. It yeah. was very, very late call for that's what it was, because I didn't see a Zeus travel. This is throwing for the Raiders. Olsen with the pressure on to so Luke. Rinaldi brings it on a dribble to Wendell. They only got 10 seconds, got it over. Olsen looking for Luke. Luke goes up. Oh, can't oh believe it. Lindbergh the other way. Hart. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh my. Catalano turns around, scores. That's how you do it. Mm -hmm. Here we go again. Two on one, two on one on none. Lynch up and in. Nice basket there, Gavin. Three minutes to go in this game. 66 52 Raiders. Luke's had his chances too here. He'll get it. Catalano, feeder to Lindbergh down low. Hart all set up. Bang! Yeah. Hart's a baller. Adam Hart, 55 66. Mills trailing to Olsen, waiting to Luke. Got it! There it is! There it is. And folks. a standing ovation with a big smile on his face, Luke Rinaldi. Oh, how exciting is this? 1,000 points. His name will be hanging in the rafters, folks. They're yelling Luke, not Boo. That is awesome. I'm so glad they stopped. Wow. Smiles all over the place. And a big ovation from the visiting crowd. Luke That's goes out so on the good. floor and takes his bows. <laughs> Well, no bow for Luke. He's oh, very man. modest, kind of yeah, shy in a way. And I thought he was going to run into the crowd and slap hands. I know, right? But it's 66, 68, 55, and the Mills crowd, crowd is also glad this is done with. His mom must be excited about that one. How cool is that? All right, I'm ending the live stream, guys. Catalano brings it up. And the two and a half to go. Rinaldi finally learns how to breathe again. Lindbergh. Ryan. Huh? I like this kid. Yeah, he's good. 68 57, 210 to go. Mel Melchionda. Left side. Back to Luke. Rinaldi in the corner for Spellman for three. Up in the air it comes. Down to Ryan in good position. Left side, Ryan. Prayer of a shot, no good. Rebound and a foul on a, on a Raider. Now, I got a question for you. Were mm -hmm. the Millis fans um, mocking Luke or were they yelling Luke over there? I thought they were just laughing because he didn't make a shot earlier. Oh, I don't know. I don't even know if they know what's going on, to be honest with you. So if I'm wrong, I apologize if they, were, if they weren't mocking him because Boo and Luke do, do sound similar. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
it just seems like they were doing the wrong thing at the wrong time, but hey, it's hard to know with students what they're thinking. Spellman makes it, but I apologize if I was wrong. Well, I think we accept your apology. Brad. Well, thank you, Brad. Here you go, 70 to 57. 70 points is a great offensive game. 57 for the home team. The flick out of bounds by Olsen. Yeah, Olsen with that long reach, just getting up there and slapping it. Timeout White. And I think the official's glad because he looks exhausted. Both of them look very tired. Right. That's a tough job. We've said it before. It's so difficult. By the way, I got a quote for you. Today in 1919, this is January 31st, in 1919, Jackie Robinson was born. And they have a quote from somebody from history of the state. He once said, a life is not important except in the impact it has on other lives from Jackie Robinson. Wow, that's good. Isn't that impactful? That is impactful. I'm going to have to go home and change my ways. Oh, boy. It may take an extra lifetime. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I want to say those baby pictures of your 10-day-old yeah. are exquisite. Thank you. Yeah. Gosh, she's a cutie. Oh my gosh, she's like 12 days old? Uh, the 19th. So. Mm, yeah, 12 days old, 12-day-old baby. Yep. Congratulations, sir. We never said it on a, on a boys' broadcast yet. Oh, yeah. But you and your wife had a lovely baby girl. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Didn't name it after me. There was discussion. <laughs> Very brief. I want to name her Bradalina. Bradalina, but Agnes works much better. Yes, that's true. Hard will put it in play with Olsen in his face. Hart. Hart waits. Olsen on him. He's got nothing to do with the ball. Outside, a Zeus for two. Got it. Yeah, nice basket. Two. Did he say three? I don't know. I, th I thought he put tough. Three. He might have been up. I thought he was inside the line, but anyways, Luke with it. Missed a thousand point. I know, right? Bang. That's pretty cool. 105 to go in fourth. Catalano looks at Luke. Cross court to Melchionda. Fang. Think about the great company he's in. Spellman. Again. Jeez. Oh, My wife is running out of ink. <laughs> Catalano shoots a three. It's the orange, comes down to Fang. Spellman, 42 to go in the game. 13 point cushion for the Raiders. Great effort by Millers for at least, at least a half or more. Spellman slowing it down. Mason Melchionda to Rinaldi. Spellman. Melchionda outside, killing clock. Melchionda all the way lays it in. Yeah, great effort there by Melchionda. 10 seconds now. You know what, I, I was impressed with Millis today. Yeah, ball. Yeah, ball on a buzzer. Yeah, I was too. I thought they played a very good game. Uh -huh. But the strength and resilience of this Dover Sherborne team is tough to beat. Yeah, for sure. And Luke Rinaldi probably had the most harrowing game of his career to date. But he did it. 15-point victory. The Raiders go up to 12-3 and three on the year. Millis with their um, 11th loss. And the visiting team, coaches, players congratulating Rinaldi. Catalano, for example. Yep. Paul Adams. Spellman, Debbie Glazer on stats, has 28 points for the leader for Spellman. Luke Rinaldi needed 19 for 1,000, and he got his 19. Uh -huh. 11 for Olsen, and we got three twos. Fang, Glick, and Lynch for two. Melchionda for six, and Windle for four, Brad. And exciting to be here, huh? Yeah, it was, you know. It's like the feeling is kind of surreal, you know. You're just very happy for this kid. Yeah. He came a long way from freshman yeah. year and got better and better. And finally, it's the ultimate achievement for a high school basketball player. Yeah. In his senior year, they're taking pictures out there with the coach. Very nice. And he got the game ball. Look at that. He gets to keep the ball. And uh, 
he gets a round of applause from his team and the crowd here. And, uh, wow, just so exciting. Look at that. <laughs> That's great. Look at that. That's so cool. We will sign off from here. Dover Sherburne goes to Dedham this coming Friday. And we'll be back home with the Dedham Girls game on live stream. We thank you for watching our cable cast of Dover Sherborne Boys Basketball. Until next time, so long, everyone.